In this video, we look at developing a simple grid forming control for a remote AC microgrid using troop control. A microgrid is a type of power network used to facilitate the incorporation of re renewable energy resources. The AC microgrid in Simlink has been modeled with SimSkip blocks. The DC sources here represent DC links of typical renewable energy generation systems such as PV arrays, wind turbines, or battery energy storage systems. The concept of microgrid is enabled by controllers associated with power electronics interfaces, such as these inverters here between the sources and the network. This is a natural step forward for MassWorks given the control design solutions for power electronics systems already in our products. Along with the inverters and DC sources, there are three fixed loads consuming 175 kilowatt of AC power from the microgrid with a power factor of 0.95. There is also a switchable 75 kilowatt real power load with a power factor of 0.98 that connects to the microgrid through a circuit breaker. A microgrid typically has a pre-planned load shedding strategy to reach balanced operations. Instant load shedding, however, is difficult to implement without a high-level energy management system. This is where a simple troop controller can help maintain the AC microgrid's frequency and voltages around their nominal values. Each of the inverter subsystems in this model includes a troop controller to maintain a voltage of 380 volts and a frequency of 60 hertz. In this troop controller design, the active power frequency troop coefficient is set to 2.5%, meaning that microgrid frequency is allowed to vary 1.5 hertz around 60 hertz with one per unit change of real power injected from the inverter. The reactive power voltage droop coefficient is also set to 2.5%, meaning that the voltage at each point of common coupling bus is allowed to vary over a range of 9.5 volt around the nominal 380 volt with one per unit change of reactive power. The resulting frequency and voltage commands are used to calculate the D and Q axis reference voltages which are passed to the voltage control loop. This PID controller regulates the voltages through the generated three-phase PWM switching sequences fitting to the inverter. Let us now run the simulation and examine how the droop controller performs while an abrupt 75 kilowatt load is brought up online. This is the voltage scope of the connected inverters. We can see that both inverters' voltages are maintained around one per unit after the load switches on at around 0.5 seconds. Likewise, the microgrid frequency is also maintained at 60 Hz. Looking at the active and reactive power scopes, we see that the increase the real and reactive power loads are shared between both sources without any high-level supervisory control. In summary, we saw how we can design a simple grid-forming controller with droop control for a remote AC microgrid using Simulink. In future development from MassWorks, we are planning to demonstrate control strategies to reconnect such microgrids back to the main grid. We also plan to demonstrate more advanced grid-forming control technologies such as virtual power plants, as well as other electrification topics, such as stability analysis workflow of power networks.